Hey guys and gals, what's up? This is Dark Shadow Vamp, and some of you are probably thinking, it's about dang time. Yeah, it is. But, um, I am not doing a live play. Um, right now, I'm actually going to do an informative video for you guys. Um, for some of you that may know me, you may have heard or seen me talk about batch files. Now, batch files are most commonly used for a lot of mods that are made for not just Skyrim, but some other um, PC-based games. But the goal for this batch file is to be used for Skyrim, because that's the one of two PC games, and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably saying, why is he talking about Star Skyrim when he's got Star Wars The Old Republic on his computer? Yep, I do play Star Wars as well. I haven't touched it in a while, but yep. But anyways, um, batch files can be used for several um, purposes. Um, when I use them, I like to give myself a, a fairly decent start in the game, especially early game, um, to get a hold of items that are just useful, or if I just want a particular armor and weapon set that I just strictly want to stay focused on. So I figured, you know, what's a build that I can do to create a batch file for that I can also show those of you that don't know how to make a batch file and oh that it would be informative for you guys and helpful. So there's two things that you need. One of them is a program called Notepad. Now most computers come with this program. It's fairly very very easy to find. Um, if you don't already know where it's at you can just go into your search bar. I know Windows 10 just come down here and type in notepad and it'll pop up. But it is the only program that you need for this so that's it's fairly simple and fairly easy to do if you follow my step-by-step -step instructions. Next, you need a website that will give you what is called an 8-digit code. So, the website that you want to come to, and I'll be linking this down below, is the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. <laughs> it says unofficial, but it is a good website to come to, to not only just find item numbers for batch files, but also a good guide for, you know, quests. If you get stuck on a quest and you're not sure what to do, just come here and, you know, queue up the... find. You can find every single quest that's in the game, pretty much. But we're here to make a batch file. And you can also make batch files for, you know, like, you know, the lycanthropy and vampirism because with the introduction of the Dawn Guard they actually brought a menu out that is very much similar to your typical skills for like you know sneak, archery, one-handed, pickpocket. You can do a batch file for putting giving yourself skills or giving yourself if you are a vampire or a werewolf you can just don't have you don't even have to feed to get the perks you can just give yourself the perks that's that's how the batch files really can work you can also give yourself shouts that you need but what's the what fun is that when you can just go and learn the shout yourself right but even the same thing can be said for you know when wanting certain I certain armors and weapons. You can go and make them, you can go and find them, but um, with this batch file we're actually going to be putting in some armor and weapons. And the build that I'm actually aiming for is a dwarven build. So as you saw, we just came into the items menu and we're going to go into the armor. And this is just the probably the easy route instead of just having to figure out exactly where is everything. So, as you can see, 
they have all the armors pretty much etched out for you from all the light armors and all of the heavy armors. We want the heavy armor because we are going to be making a dwarven build batch file. So, and what we need is this code right here. So I'm just going to highlight dwarven armor in that code and copy and just pretty much just copy and paste it here. So just go all the way through and we are going to be grabbing the shield as well. Even though another way to get an easy full dwarven set is if you go to Markarth and you go into the um oh gosh, I think it's Understone Keep, I believe, and there is in I think it's in the Chuenzel. There is a spot where you can actually find a full set of dwarven armor, a shield, and a sword. Grab a sword. And now, time to think about what kind of ranged weapon. We could do the combination between bow and arrow, use the crossbow just for certain things and we might actually go ahead and do that just for you know especially you know if you have a certain way that you wanna play the the role of a dwarf you know you could leave the dwarf use a bow for hunting purposes and then the dwarven crossbow for fighting purposes ranged fighting I mean that I mean it's sky's the limit and it depends on what you want to do with your character you know don't let anyone ever tell you hey you should be playing this way you know no that's not what Skyrim's about Skyrim's about having fun and just finding unique builds and ways to have fun with the game after all it is a role-playing game as well Because I have seen people come up with some very, very unique builds. Um, I do follow one guy that comes up with some very, very unique builds. And has also helped me with a lot of stuff. Figuring out exactly what mods are best and everything. So, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you... Skyrim players already know the guy, and I won't put out his name, but he does, he is the person that runs the ESO server on Discord. And like I said, you can find me there as well. But, so, as you can see, you know, we have our eight digit codes here. Now, some of them, as you can see, have, you know, letters in them. And some of them are just full numbers. Like especially with the shield and the sword and the bow. Um, but once we got down to the crossbow, you no, you probably took notice of the double X's. And you're probably thinking, well, DSV, what are those for? That is because, as you can see, you know, when we copy and paste, this is a Dawn Guard item. So it was the item put in the game by DLC. So that becomes, those two X's become a zero and a two. And it's because of the way that if you do mod your game, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Skyrim players do, um, the way that items are put in is by the load order of that particular mod or plugin is what the DLCs are co very much considered and I will go ahead and pull this up and show you guys is the Dawn Guard, the Hearthfire and the Dragonborn all have their particular load order that they load in 
and this is the official way that this should be done. Um, if yours, and I'm pretty sure there's other um, mod managers. I use Vortex, um, but this should be the order of the three main DLCs. Even for the remastered version, it's very much the same way. You'll see the, you know, the two basic ones for the Skyrim in the update, then the official pat unofficial patch for the Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and the Dragonborn DLCs. Now, I am not playing on the special edition because I do, even though I do own it for PSC, but my computer just cannot handle the game right now because I don't have the right specs for it. But I do play on the vanilla version, so I can still have fun with the game. But now that we have all this, we want to put in the command player dot add item, and that is the command to put in the dwarven armor and all the other armors and weapons that we did put into this batch file. So now we just want to go through and just take out the parentheses and put in that copy and paste the that command in. Ah, I just copy that. But and then just I mean, it's very easy, very basic to do. I mean, when I when I made my first one, I was like, "Wow, this is pretty friggin' easy." And for the arrows, we're gonna put 500. You know, a decent you know amount to start with, even for ammunition. We need one of those, and we need some bolts. And I'm gonna do the same thing with those because you know. The bolts and the arrows don't weigh anything. So, you know, sky's the limit on how many bolts and arrows that you can really carry. You know, you could go as high as 50,000 or even more if you really wanted to. And, I, and it's like I said before, you know, just it's the way that you play the game. Don't let any other per person tell you how to play, play it. You know, do what you want, have fun with it, and you know just it it's a fun game to really have fun with and the batch files are just a way of you know giving yourself you know items that you want to have and just some other stuff and one of the things I'm gonna actually add or several things I'm gonna add is BAT starting and these are other batch files that I have made um, the starting batch file that you see there just consists of some ultimate potions for health, stamina, and magicka. Even though I'm probably not going to be using magic with this build. Um, and then some skill batch files that will come in handy, especially if you like to do... A lot of enchanting so you know again you know batch files can be fun they can be useful so you know like I said just you know this is the way I like to play it you know give myself a fun little edge and even have fun with it you know that starting fo batch file that I was telling you guys about it also has items that will I can go and disenchant to learn the enchantment and go and re-enchant stuff, you know, especially, you know, if you want, like, you know, level up your skills, you know, put, like, you know, archery and one-handed on the gauntlets, archery and something else on the helmet, you know, the shield, you know, elemental protection on that, on that is what I usually do, the sword, sometimes the elemental damage or just you know the drain health maybe but like I said these 
the Batch file is just a fun way to experience, you know, other builds or, you know, playtest other builds that you want to use or even just share with other people. And I don't mind sharing my builds with other people. Probably the next video that I do will be for the Nightingale. Um, and just a pretty good rundown of how the Nightingale, I think, should be ran properly. And I'm pretty sure some of you have probably noticed with some some of the stuff is missing with the Nightingales. You know, so, but that'll be another video. So, thank you for being tuned in, and I hope to see everyone with the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. See you guys later.